Yeah. 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 Um, well, in hockey we got destroyed, so uh, I felt um, hmm, quite uh, like naked, stripped off, uh, because I had no clue what to do, and um, the guys are just so good, you feel intimidating um, when they approach you, because I have no control of the, the stick and the, and the ball, so... It was just a uh, kind of hit and hope out there on the NHL while no, on, on yeah against the NHL guys while at um, baseball stadium at least it's only one one throw it's not the toughest uh, thing to do but uh, I think I did quite well I went full power on my throw and I hit it kind of where I wanted so I was happy more happy with the throw. How much was the pressure? <laughs> I was a little scared to go too kind of powerful because I've had a little ache in my shoulder in the last weeks but uh, it was fine and I warmed up enough so that I would, would be able to throw it pretty fast. Hi, um, how would you compare uh, your level com uh, compared to last year at the same period and how would you judge your season so far? Well, I think the um, season this year is a little kind of slower than, than, than last year. I, I haven't done as good as I would like to and as good as compared to last year. But I was kind of in a similar situation um, last year. Like the tournament, especially clay season, that is important to me, didn't exactly go as planned. And then towards the end, I, I really did well with... Rome, Geneva, and and Paris, and the same almost kind of happened this year, um, result-wise. So, and then this summer a couple more clay court tournaments. But I feel, you know, motivated to be back on hard court. Uh, it's going to be hard court the rest of the year now. So um, this is a very nice, good first stop, first tournament for me. And um, I have good memories from both here and Montreal in the last uh, couple of years so I'm, I'm excited to be here and I feel like I'm playing fairly good at least in practice and um, in general I feel like I'm a better player now than I was last year and I think that's that's a good sign but that doesn't mean you'll win every single match that you're supposed to win there are other factors that come into play during every match you play but um, yeah and level wise I feel you know more uh, like a better player all, all around than, than last year. Hi, Casper. Uh, ben from Matchpoint Canada. Welcome back to Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, just your thoughts on sort of transitioning from clay uh, back to hard. How, how difficult is that for you as a, a player who traditionally likes the clay surface a little bit more and, and just recently, as you said, played two, played two clay tournaments? Yeah. Um, you know, I think both changes for me, like when we go – from hardcore to clay in Miami or after Miami and when we get to Europe it's really nice because the mood is kind of like oh it's been a lot of hardcore now it's going to be nice to play on a different surface and my maybe top spin shots are going to be a little heavier here on the clay but now you know when you get the, towards the end of the clay court season it's nice to get back to hardcore in a way because you know there will be no wrong bounces there are <laughs> the bounce is always going to be the same and it's just nice to do something else because the clay court season is maybe not the longest but it's pretty hectic especially for me I play a lot of tournaments and a lot of matches so it requires a lot so it's nice to kind of just change it up with uh, of course Wimbledon on, on the grass that it's a complete change up but just back to hard court is also a nice feeling I think. <coughs> Hi, Casper. Lucas Suisse with The Athletic. Welcome to Toronto. Uh, you know, you, you had the chance to play in three Grand Slam finals the last couple of years. Uh, I'm just curious what you've learned about each one that I guess will, you know, maybe allow you to hopefully one day win uh, eventually a slam. Yeah, um, good question. I mean, three matches against three different players, three opponents that I lost to. And, uh, you know, I just have to kind of accept, well, not have to. I, I do accept. I, I accepted that they were better than me on on those days. They have a better record than me, you know, in terms of <laughs> years and years on tour as well. Um, so, but I think just the fact that I got to the final and was there doing my best is gonna hopefully help me get one one day. Um, 
compared to the rest of the guys um, who are, let's say, anywhere between 25, 26 and 19, 20 years old. Um, I think I'm one of the players who reach more finals at Grand Slams and maybe myself believe that I can do it again to reach a final and also hopefully win one. It's maybe higher compared to other competitors who hasn't reached it. So I think that's just going to hopefully one day uh, help me. And um, every time I go into a Grand Slam from you know last year on, I'm going to have know in my mind that I have reached finals before so uh, that it could very well happen again. So I think that's something that hopefully is going to give me a little advantage compared to you know other players and other competitors. Casper, hey, Pete Burkowski, Tennis Canada. This is your third appearance in Canada. The other two have gone fairly well, quarterfinal, semifinal. Is there something about this event that works well for your game that makes you comfortable? Um, I think they just take care of the players really well here. I have, feel very comfortable from the first day that we got here. Um, you know, Carl, the tournament director here, he's been very nice to me and my team. Uh, he's set us up with great golf courses on the, on the afternoons here. And I've had a great time, good dinners. and. They do really well for the players, so that could be one reason. Another reason is, you know, like I said, I, I always feel kind of fresh and motivated to get started on a new surface after clay. And um, when I come over here, I've, you know, been serving really well and playing smart. And um, and last year, reaching the semis, uh, it was in Montreal, obviously. But uh, when I reached the quarters here two years ago, was was COVID, so it was a little different. Uh, energy around here, but I think Canadian fans are, are great and I, I look forward to playing in front of them. We talked about the baseball and the hockey. Are the experiences like that things you actively seek out when you go to tournaments? Not necessarily. They, I was just asked to do it and, uh, and, and I was happy to, of course. Uh, I don't know much about baseball at all. Um, I know the basic rules and stuff and the only like baseball kind of videos or things that I've seen has been like through YouTube, like Sports Center top 10 plays of the year or whatever. And it's been a couple of baseball clips. So I've, I haven't really been to a game. I hadn't been to a game before the other day and it was great. It was fun. It's, it's long, obviously, but it's, uh, we were had, we had really good seats with like good food, good drinks. And, uh, it was, it was very enjoyable.